so I'm going to let you in on a little secret here, which is prevention is always easier and better than the cure. And what exactly do I mean when I say prevention is better than the cure? Well, in this case, what I'm referring to is upholstery protectors, upholstery protectant, fabric guards, you can call them whatever you want. Just to define the difference, we have porous materials and non-porous materials. Now, the debate will forever play out as to whether there is a product that you can apply to non-porous materials as a protectant, whether it's leather, vinyl, plastic. That is a debate that I just don't engage in, mostly because those are non-porous materials. So stains or dirt is not an issue like porous materials, like carpeting, upholstery, fabrics, any type of porous material. The trick is that you protect it first and then cleaning is always easier. And there's many names that are kind of synonymous with this. Scotchgard is a very well-known name. Scotchgard is a 3M company. 3M is a well-known name in many industries. For years, that has been my secret of success. One of many secrets is that I always use a carpet protector right from the get-go if the car is brand new or right after I've detailed a car because, well, for two reasons. A, if you're a professional detailer, it will make your job far easier to clean the next time you see that car if you apply a carpet protector after you clean it or when the car is brand new. Now, whether you upsell the customer on this service or not is completely up to you. I personally believe it is a good upsell because it truly is adding value. It's not some glorified, hyped up, Ooh, I'm gonna apply carpet protector, but the reality is it's not gonna make a world of difference because it will make the world of difference. Now, with that said, there is one big, huge caveat, which is that I have yet to see a fabric protector, whether we're talking about these new ceramic or glass coatings on your car or fabric protectors, there is nothing that will protect against everything. There's always going to be exceptions to the rule. So in my household, and this is something that I also teach my customers, is that I never allow any food or liquid or material into the car that I know I cannot remove. Even if I have carpet protector on the upholstery, I'm still going to limit what's allowed into the car. So yes, I let my kids eat and bring food and drink into the car, but there's certain rules that apply. Nothing that has a color to it. No drinks or no liquids. That limits it pretty dramatically to basically water, uh, light colored sodas, which doesn't include traditional colas, because that will leave a shadow. Now, generally, when it comes to coffee, tea, or colas, when you do use a quality carpet protector, it will come clean. If the fabric has not been protected prior to a spill like that, once you clean it up, generally it will leave a shadow behind. Colors, bright colors, orange drinks, red drinks, punches, popsicles, crayons, ink markers, go down the lip, lipstick. You know, if you live in a desert area or here in California where the inside of your car can get like 200 degrees, things melt. And if you've got chapstick or a Crayola crayons or lipstick and it melts on the upholstery and it's a porous material, it will be a bitch to get out. Now, yes, it's always going to be easier if you have applied carpet protector prior to that moment, but there's no guarantee with any carpet protector that you use as to whether that material is going to come clean or not. Because once again, it's a case by case. Not all colors, not all dyes are created equal. Some are far more effective than others. And that's literally what they are. They're coloring, it's dyes. That's how they make these bright colored things. Whether it's drinks that you drink or apply to your face or put on a piece of paper, I don't care. I don't allow it into the car because there's no guarantee I'm gonna be able to get it out of the car 
if it spills or gets on the porous material. But I do know that when it comes to traditional dirt, oils, and grease, if you use a carpet protector, it is golden, baby. I'm telling you, your life will be so much easier every time you got to clean it. So it's a great upsell. You can charge, in my world, I charge anywhere from 25 bucks to do a set of floor mats on up to $75. It's based on the customer, what I'm there for. You can treat if they've got the, uh, like for example, these uh, kind of entry level cars with the sport fabric. Those are a nightmare to get clean. Essentially what I tell my customers is, if you want these clean and to stay looking this way, do the duration of your ownership of that car, do not get them dirty. Or make sure they're treated with a fabric protector so that that dirt will be released and can, be, and can actually come clean because those fabrics are an absolute nightmare. They're synthetic, made out of nylon, synthetic materials, and they're just a bitch to get clean. So prevention to come full circle is always better than the cure. This is how I prevent my life from becoming more problematic or more difficult. This is how I can over deliver to my customers, especially on my maintenance cars. I apply a fabric protector on the floor mats as a rule and down the sides of the center console and the sides of the seat. Traditionally, I'm gonna do it where I know spills will happen. Most people are drinking something in their car, coffee, tea, maybe some sodas, whatever. And so not only do I educate my, cons my customer, but I apply it so that it makes my life easier and makes their life easier. So when I come in and I clean it and they had a spill and now it cleans up 100%, guess who looks like a rock star? That's right, you will, okay? And who doesn't wanna look like a rock star in the world of detailing? I know I do, so this is the fix. What I have been using for years, and there's many versions out there, and if you go to my website, I will have a page dedicated to these upholstery protectors, carpet protectors, whatever you want to call them. Use that link. Now the problem with these two examples is that they're compressed as in an aerosol. So as a rule they cannot be shipped by plane, they have to be shipped by ground. So if you live in Hawaii or another part of the world that has to use airplanes to receive shipments, you will not be able to get these. So I will source out a because what I use commercially, and this is from the carpet care industry, this is a commercial fabric protector. It's not pressurized. I use it full strength. You do not dilute it. It's a chemical, and I use it in a regular traditional spray pump. So I'll see if I can source something out that you can get through Amazon in case you live somewhere that has to use air freight to get it to you. But for the rest of us that live on the continental USA, this is what I've been using for years. I'll have some other sources. Honestly, in my opinion, because I've tested so many throughout the years, they really all work. And technology is always improving, uh, chemical engineering, so things just get better and better and better. So what works today will still work tomorrow, but maybe they'll come out with a new product that's even more resistant to staining. But for the time being, you don't need to overthink it, just so long as you apply some caution. And, and it's kind of like leather. You know, you can teach your customer or yourself if you have a new car, it's like, hey, don't slide your ass across the bolster every time. Place your ass into the seat. That way you're not rubbing the finish off every time you slide in and out of the car. You would be amazed at how many people lack that simple awareness and don't know how to take care of a car. So this is where you as a professional detailer or as a car owner, you become educated and informed and now you can prevent things from happening. And once again, prevention is always better than the cure and it's always cheaper. So my wife recently got rid of her older it was a 2007 Mercedes C-Class, and we upgraded to a 2013 C-Class. This is her new C-Class, and it is sweet. It's got every upgrade, almost every upgrade imaginable. The only thing missing is the panoramic all-glass roof. I wish it had it, 
but we bought it used. It only has 10,000 miles on it. I've yet to go through and apply the Darren touch to it. Even though most people would consider this perfect, it even still has the floor mats because we bought it from a dealership. Actually, we bought it from the dealership that I do business with. It only has 10,000 miles on it. When this thing was fully loaded, or I should say when this thing was priced out with all the upgrades, it was a $48,000 car. What did we pay for it? Well, literally we paid almost half of that and it only has 10,000 miles on it. So that's the benefit of buying used. So, and there's the uh, logo, Exclusive Motors in Anaheim Hills. Um, if you're interested, go see John. He will take care of you and tell him that Darren with Auto Fetish sent you. But what happened is that it was missing a floor mat on the passenger side. Well, that's completely unacceptable in my world. So John, being the guy that he is, said, hey, Darren, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. I'll get you some new floor mats. Which brings us back to brand new floor mats straight from the dealer has never been touched. I just pulled them out of the wrapper. They're a perfect fit and completely unsoiled. This is the best time to treat the fabric. With these, it's pretty straightforward. Now, just so you know, there's two versions. Actually, there's more than two versions. Like every other industry, it's like, well, why make one product when we can offer five different products and sell to more consumers or confuse them and once you're confused, then you end up buying more rather than less because you apply the what if. Well, what if that's not good enough and I need both? Or what if that is better than that? So it's all about marketing and advertising. So this is the auto version. The difference is, is it comes out in a foam. The concept is, is that when you're spraying it, you can see exactly where you spray because this version which is just called the fabric and upholstery protector. It's an aerosol, a true aerosol, and it comes out as a clear mist. So as you spray it, you can't see exactly where you're spraying. Not that you have to be blind not to know, you'll figure it out, but I'm just telling you the difference. Personally, I prefer this version over the foam version. I will have this on my website. So as you're shopping on Amazon, and yes, please use the links on my website. And if you have an ad blocker, disable your ad blocker so you can see my page as it was meant to be seen. And you can get this if you want to get it. The directions say you shake the can vigorously with intention and purpose. How about that? So I shake the can it instructs that you hold it approximately six inches and you do overlapping motions. Two coats is better than one heavy coat and that's a rule that I apply with anything, whether it's cleaning, uh, shampooing, upholstery. You're not going to get it with one pass as a rule. So lighter coats that are repeated are better than one heavy, overly saturated coat. And you want to basically shoot it because you're going to have overspray past the edges of this mat. So let's say this was inside of a car and you can quickly touch it up while it's inside the car, which is what I do, especially on my maintenance accounts because the cars never get that dirty. I'm seeing these cars once a week, every two weeks, once a month. So they're never getting out of hand. So after I shampoo them, I just retouch them up while they're in place. But sometimes they've got like this vinyl ribbing around the side or sometimes they'll have the covers that uh, cover up the seating at, um, hardware. When you spray those areas, just do a quick wipe up really quick and the directions actually inform you to do that. And you just start applying it. And you just do overlapping methods. As simple as that. Now I'm gonna finish this off camera because really, what is there to see? You can't tell a difference, right? The only time you're going to be able to see a difference is when you spill something on it and it's going to beat up onto the surface and you can quickly wipe it up 
or as it gets dirty, and yes, it will still get dirty, it's not going to create this invisible barrier that doesn't allow it to get dirty. Trust me, it still will get dirty just as normal. The difference is, is when you go to clean it, it will clean up dramatically easier and quicker. Unless you've experienced it firsthand, it's hard to believe how much easier it is. It really is not a gimmick. So when those carpet guys come to shampoo your carpet in your house and they ask, hey, would you like to uh, apply a carpet protector for an additional three bucks per yard, square yard, square foot, whatever, thumbs up. It's not hype. It really does make it easier to clean each and every time. So every time I shampoo it, I apply a new coating of this, also what the directions instruct you to do. I'm going to allow it to air dry for a couple hours and then I'm going to come back over and I'm going to apply a second coating. Now on my customers cars that's unrealistic to think that I'm going to come back and reapply it just for the sake of reapplying it. So what I do is I plan ahead. I shampoo the carpets or the floor mats first if I know I'm going to treat them and I apply a coating and I do the rest of the car and so a half an hour, an hour, an hour and a half has passed. Now I can reapply a second coating right before I leave and I just give the customer the heads up or I ask him and say, hey, do you plan on driving this when I'm done in the next hour? If the answer is no, I know I can apply a coating. If it's yes, then I tell him, it's like, oh, well, I applied it and I'm just going to leave it at one coating. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Trust me on that one also. So well, that's my little trick. And once again, whether you decide to upsell or not, because really it's going to make, like I said, your life easier as a detailer and time is money. So if you're going to be able to clean it quicker and easier each time, it's already worth it to me to apply it without even, half the time I don't even let my customers know because they're already paying me, uh, well, let's say a very healthy price for me to come and service their car. So this is where I add value to the moment without them even knowing it. They just know that when I leave, their car looks perfect every time. Well, this is one of my tricks for that. I don't even tell them about it. But if I have a customer that is kind of a one-time only, I'll ask them and I'll say, hey, this stuff really works. I can, I can treat your upholstery, the entire car if you want, the floor mats only. It's up to them. I give them some options. And then, of course, you've got the OCD people out there that want to do the headliner. Trust me, don't overthink the headliner. Even if you're a smoker, with new materials today on the headliners, which are different as a rule than the seating, they really clean very easily. Not that you can't do the headliner with it, but the problem is, is how do you tape everything off? Because you're gonna get this overspray on the windows, on the A-pillars, every, everything, it's called gravity. What goes up must come down. So as you're shooting it up, Whatever doesn't stick to the headliner or doesn't go onto the headliner is either going to attach to a surface that you don't want it to attach to or it's going to float down on all the upholstery. So that becomes problematic in and of itself. And headliners, like I said, are really straightforward as far as cleaning them goes. So I don't overthink that part. Thank you in advance for using my links. It does help support my cause and supplement my income. Uh, use the links, a window will open up, a separate window for Amazon. Once that window opens up, you can just toggle back and forth. You don't have to open up a new window each time to buy a separate product. Once you use my link to open up the window, just go back to my website. If you wanna buy something else from my website, just take a note and add it to your original cart once you've opened it up originally from my website. So that's how you do it. And that's how I get credit. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Follow me on Instagram. If you're an Instagram person, follow me on Facebook. Unfortunately, my Facebook page is so outdated, or I should say it's not up to date. I have endless projects and pictures, and I just don't have time. I've actually hired a full-time employee, um, actually a student, that the guy was just so good and he was so motivated, he essentially just weaseled his way into my world and proved his value, and he has become invaluable to me, so now I use him full-time.
but we've been so buried with work. I just have not had time to make videos. I had the day off today because I had a doctor's appointment, so I decided to, to shoot two videos in one day. So wow, check me out. You're gonna have two new videos to watch and hopefully learn and take something very useful away, whether you're a car owner, a used car, brand new car, a detailer, or a guy wanting to get into the business. This is one of my trade secrets, even though it's not really a trade secret, but use it. It will make your life better and easier.